Hello everybody. Hello vinyl community. I hope you are fine. I have not done this for quite a while. Uh, actually for a pretty long time. Um, and there might be all kind of reasons for that. Um, probably foremost uh, the fact that if I um, if I uh, took a car right now and just drove really hard towards the east for let's say eight hours I would arrive in a fully fledged war so this is a bit of a mood killer but on the other hand um, um, people here experience this whole situation more like more through media it almost feels it feels like a kind of a simulacrum uh, kind of detached from reality to some extent and um, um, yeah, after a while you, you realize that, uh, at least for me, I just, I just don't want these closed ranks of German media to decide how I am supposed to feel. And uh, so um, you do the only thing that you can do and that is just to shut it off. But uh, despite all of that, um, it did not stop me from uh, listening to music, and that's uh, why we are here now. So, um, but since I haven't um, done this for such a long time, I'm making a video like that. Um, there's quite a lot of uh, records that uh, I would like to show you. So this will most certainly not fit it fit in one video. I will probably chop it up into maybe three or four different uh, videos. Uh, if anybody cares. So uh, let me take a sip of coffee and uh, let's start with some records. Now let's begin uh, with this uh, nice 7 inch. This uh, came out not that long ago and is uh, by the German band Das Hobos. Um, their sound is pretty difficult to describe actually. Um, it's some kind of a slightly psychedelic, folky, semi-electronic, post-rock uh, thing. They just do that type of music and it's a very pleasant listen. Now the 7 inch uh, has two tracks on it. One is called 5am and the other one is called, called Slip and Slide. And um, you can look them up on uh, Bandcamp for example and give it a listen on your own. Um, I think this is a pretty nice, uh, very... Uh, Pleasant vibe uh, and uh, neat 7 inch uh, hand numbered. So uh, check it out. So, um, another band where I have now kind of uh, completed their discography is uh, the Italian band Aldum and the Farids. And uh, they, uh, they released five albums in the last 10 years. And, uh, I uh, finally got their debut album, their self-titled debut album, um, which is which came out probably 2011, I think. Um, but even uh, on their very first record, this is a very fascinating band, and uh, I'm totally into their sound right now. So I actually do listen a lot to their music, particularly while I am uh, wandering through the forest and uh, their sound is uh, it's a very idiosyncratic mixture of uh, most certainly jazz fusion but uh, with a lot of elements of like fourth world music and uh, sort of Indian vibes and Southeast Asian vibes and overall it's quite psychedelic if we're talking about um, influences then uh, probably on the one hand, uh, kind of like Miles Davis during his electric phase, uh, the fusion phase and like early Herbie Hancock, stuff like that. Uh, but also um, I find uh, maybe certain inspiration coming from uh, the German band Embryo. So kind of 70s psychedelic uh, sort of Far East influenced or sort of Middle Eastern influenced uh, crowd rock as some people call it and uh, probably like the first three or four albums by uh, the band Gong so kind of the David Allen years that's pr 
probably a little bit of an influence here but um, they made this sound totally their own and uh, they are quite unique um, mostly instrumental and uh, yeah so now I have all of the five their albums so I can show you all of them this one was uh, self-titled this one is called Cosmic Love um, the third one is called Positive Force so another neat cover so um, you see regarding the song titles uh, that uh, there are not that many tracks on this album so they usually uh, record quite quite long compositions and long jams and uh, so there's hardly a song like under five minutes this was their first album that I ever got um, this is uh, Spirit Rejoin this kind of ambigram cover that you can turn around uh, this came out not that long ago like I think two or three years yeah and their last album that came out probably the beginning of this year I think or no I think like December of last year uh, Freaky People again great psychedelic sound with all kind of uh, ethnographic influences and a lot of a lot of jazz elements kind of modal jazz fusion jazz so it's a very very kind of wild wild mix but uh, most of the time rather pleasant sometimes it gets a bit noisy but um, it's, it's a very interesting kind of musical adventure so um, yeah I have uh, already shown this album quite a while ago because I very much like it this is uh, the album Sauropoda by the band Leclerc um, this is a band from Geneva in Switzerland uh, and um, I really enjoyed this album when I bought it like three years ago and uh, it's a great music for for example jogging and um, again this is a kind of a jazz funk outfit uh, with uh, certain roots in yeah, like like down tempo or deep house music but at the same time they are kind of very very jazzy to some extent and uh, this is not a merely electronic record there's a lot of uh, kind of natural instruments going on the bass player is outstanding the the drumming is very good um, and um, they now released a new album which is called Confusions and uh, so I got it here uh, this is pretty new right now and uh, they continue their sound here but uh, certainly walk a little more into the direction of jazz uh, kind of psychedelic rock and jazz and uh, some great great sort of futuristic keyboard playing here and amazing drumming um, so it's still very very rhythmic and uh, had a, has a wonderful vibe um, but uh, it's probably a little more a little more playful uh, in a, uh, in a more like a jazzy direction and uh, came again on uh, the Bongo Joe label um, the the Swiss one I mean there are like two labels I think with which with uh, with Bongo Joe in the name but uh, this one is uh, the one from Switzerland um, which is also identical with the record store in Geneva um, yeah, to stay with uh, kind of in the realm of Leclerc for a minute longer. Uh, this is a, a EP called uh, Souvenir. This is uh, Maston with Leclerc. So this is like a mini album that uh, is very kind of jazz funk with strong soul elements and uh, very pleasant to listen. And uh, it's kind of a nice uh, kind of a jazzy pop music and. Uh, um, I certainly enjoyed it. Um, those are all very kind of short songs, like three, four minutes long. Um, this was recorded in the Netherlands and uh, yeah, it's a lovely one. Um, in a similar spirit, this album from Sweden, which is uh, called a product of Hashish and the band is called Hashish. Um, but this is actually a um, this was released in 2016 and uh, is a kind of a brainchild of uh, 
of a Swedish um, artist called Stefan Kerry. And um, this is a very, very uh, cinematic sounding uh, jazz funk album with a lot of a uh, bit of a soul and a bit of a uh, like down tempo music, uh, but uh, it's all very flamboyant. Uh, it is a very pleasant sound, uh, but uh, also a lot of energy. And uh, it's kind of like a soundtrack to some uh, action movie or to some uh, uh, more like a spy movie or something. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. Um, it even comes with a very kind of a pop art type of poster that I, of course, will share with you. Um, so this one I've shown before, probably more than once. But uh, always quite enjoyed this record here because uh, this is another one that came out on Bongo Joe, Le Disc Bongo Joe in 2019. This was the first album by Yin Yin, uh, the rabbit that hunts tigers. This band is kind of like Kruang Bin on steroids, so they have a very, very similar, very similar texture in their sound, very similar influences. Again, there is a type of um, a uh, psychedelic uh, parsing of Southeast Asian pop music uh, under this kind of a funky paradigm. But the difference is that they are pretty dynamic, kind of a dance band. So uh, they are uh, much faster and much more energetic. So uh, this is not as psychedelic or kind of a stoner stoner rock type of music as uh, Kruang Bin is, but to some extent both projects go pretty well together, to be honest. So this was their first album, but uh, me meanwhile they have uh, released their second album called The Age of Aquarius. Again, this is quite hot off the press, this is relatively new. Um, this came out on Glitterbeat, on the German label Glitterbeat. Um, I always have the impression that Bongo Joe always keeps losing these bands to Glitter Beat. So bands come to Bongo Joe, make their debut album, and then their second record is with Glitter Beat. Whatever that means. Um, so yeah, this is a, quite a wonderful uh, record that continues this kind of energetic, uh, exotic sound of Yin Yin. Um, Always influenced by like Eastern and martial art movie soundtracks from the 70s and stuff like that. And and uh, here, I think their sound here is kind of a have a tendency to go more towards uh, like Bollywood and Indian music and kind of a spiritual music. Um, while their first album was uh, quite. Uh, influenced by all kind of uh, more like Chinese and Southeast Asian uh, vibes. So um, yeah, um, this is a great album here. Um, I have just two more records here. So this is uh, Living Stone by Jungle by Night. I finally got this one because the funny, funny thing is that um, um, when this came out, I immediately knew that I was going to buy it. So I just put it in my kind of waiting list. And um, then like two years passed by and then you look it up again on, on Discogs and you realize, oh, people are already selling this like for $50 by now. So I think I've waited a little too long. So I became quite quite alert in regard of this record and started to search and search and search and still got a new copy here for a, for a decent for a decent and humane uh, price. Um yeah, I think I like Jungle Banner. This is a Dutch band uh, that uh, is kind of uh, transcending Afrobeat into a kind of new type of music, kind of a, a psychedelic jazz funk music and um, maybe this is their best album I could imagine but um, that's just my opinion. I even bought uh, the the remix EP uh, that goes with this album just to show that I'm such a giant nerd. Uh, but this is a great record. Living Stone is really outstanding. This is an instrumental album, uh, all very rhythmic and uh, a lot of lot of uh, surf rock elements and a lot of kind of a 
post-disco type of uh, music uh, combined with this uh, strong, strong kind of Afrobeat, Afrobeat foundation that they have. The band is a nine piece. Those are nine musicians. Uh, I think all from Amsterdam. And um, interestingly, they, they are doing this now for at least 12 years. And uh, this is a quite a quite a firm lineup that hardly ever changes. So that's that's interesting. I mean, in the same in the same uh, period of time, a band like Yes would have already changed every single member. Um, so uh, there are bands like that, and there are bands like that. Um, so and they are um, they have a rhythm section of one drummer and two percussionists. Uh, they have a kind of a sort of more the rock oriented section of a bass player, guitarist and a keyboard and they have a brass three piece with a saxophone, trumpet and a trombone. Yeah, so this kind of defines their sound. You have a strong Afrobeat atmosphere at the base of the music, but uh, they are doing all kind of different things with it too and uh, certainly uh, experimenting uh, with all kind of interesting sounds and, and rhythms, etc. So very cool band. Uh, and uh, certainly a, a very reliable band for for playing live. So uh, these guys, uh, they can uh, really bring some heat to the hall. And um, yeah, as you can see, all these all these bands I'm showing you, they're all kind of people that are half my age, some even younger. Um, and so um, it's not true that I'm only listening to old man's music, right? old people's stuff <laughs> so uh but still with jungle by night because this as i told you this is like this came like two almost three years ago and uh by now they have released their la latest record uh, which is called algorithm um this came out well, a few weeks ago i think and um yeah um kind of similar as uh, Altengun, they have kind of this tendency now to go away from uh, kind of this 70s funk fusion sound and more tending towards a almost like a kind of post-disco um, 80s uh, vibe. Uh, it's certainly, you can certainly feel that a lot on this record. It probably shows a little bit when uh, the bass player tends more and more to play like a bass synthesizer all the time and stuff like that. It's a great album. I really like it. And I'm certainly curious uh, how their journey um, is going to continue. And uh, yeah, nice example of kind of a blue marble vinyl. I'm usually not that much interested in color vinyl. I actually find colored vinyl a little obnoxious because it's so difficult to see the grooves. But, uh, but sometimes it's just beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> so, uh, what else do I have? I think I have one more record here to show you. Not a new one, one that I have in my collection probably for like 20 years. But it's, I think it's one of those bands that kind of started that sound that I've shown you now with all the other albums here. Um, which is uh, Spirit of the Sun. One album by the Kyoto Jazz Massive, which is a band from Japan, from uh, the city of Kyoto, <laughs> obviously. And um, yeah, this is um, what you would call a future jazz album or new jazz album uh, with a lot of kind of breakbeat elements in it and a uh, touch of uh, deep house, down tempo, drum and bass, dubstep, whatever you want. Um, but it's at the same time it's quite a uh, uh, acoustic record recorded recorded with a lot of interesting musicians. Uh, so it's, it's one of those typical encounters between a bunch of DJs and a bunch of jazz musicians, uh, as it was uh, quite popular around 20 years ago at the beginning of uh, the zero years. So uh, that's uh, Spirit of the Sun. Uh, Kyoto Jazz Massive. Uh, check it out. It's another nice album. And uh, I think that's it for now. But again, this was only like 25% of the records I wanted to show you. So um, let me uh, get another coffee and I will continue this uh, this track here.
So uh, have a nice day and see you.